Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how we can install Seabone in a Mac system. So for that, first we will create a virtual environment and inside that environment, we will install the Seabone library because it is a good practice to create a virtual environment for each of the separate project and we will also create the virtual environment and inside that environment only we will install Seabone and for that Python should be installed in your machine so let's verify the Python so I will write Python 3 space hyphen hyphen version so if you also get something like this in the output so it means the Python is installed in your system if python 3 is not installed in your system then you can refer another video which is present in this channel itself and you will find the link of that video in the description below so let's now start the installation process so first i will move to the folder where i want to create the virtual environment so i will move to the downloads folder for this video you can go to any another folder as well where you want to create this virtual environment so i will say cd downloads and here I will create the virtual environment using this command which is python3 space minus m and venv which is virtual environment and I will write the name with which I want to create the virtual environment. So I want to create the environment with this name which is seaborn underscore install. So this will also create one folder in the downloads folder. So let me show you that also. So if I go into the downloads. So you would say this seaborn underscore install and inside this folder it has created these folders and files. Now we will have to activate this particular environment and for that we will have to source one file which is present inside this bin folder. So I will show you that also. So as you can see this activate file. So we will have to source this activate file in our terminal. So I will say source then seaborn underscore install then bin and I will press tab again and I will write activate so I will hit enter now so this has been activated this is the evidence of that you would see this c1 underscore install within brackets so it means this particular environment is activate now so now I will run the command to install the c1 library so for that we will use pip here so I will say pip install and c born so I will hit enter now the installation has begun so the installation is successfully completed as you can see the message here and it has installed couple of more packages also and here we will see this seaborn also so let me clear the screen first and let me print all the packages which are installed in this particular environment so i will say pip list and here we will see this seaborn also which has this particular version which is 0.13.2 let's now use this package in the python shell also so i will type python 3 and i will get into the python shell and here i will try to import this seaborn so i will write this so the import is successful so it means the seaborn is installed properly and we can use this in any python script let me also print the version of seaborn so i will type seaborn dot double underscore version and underscore underscore so as you can see it has printed the version also so this is the another proof that it has installed successfully let me now exit from this python shell and i will also deactivate this virtual environment by typing this command which is deactivate so I will hit enter and now I am out of this virtual environment also. So that's all for this video. If the video was useful to you, do hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe the channel. And as always, keep learning, keep supporting. See you in the another video.